Okay, so I'm gonna do a series of videos about dolly care and all those random things how to pick out your first doll and what you need to know about certain things because of the fact that there's a friend of mine who wants to get into BJDs. I mean, I've already done this research myself. So instead of going and looking through all the videos that I watched and just sending her tons of links and go, uh, I'm just going to tell her everything this way. Okay. First off, I've already explained to you about different doll sizes, the MSD, EOSD, and the SD sizes and what their equivalents are <laughs> and the fraction scale, the one third and one fourth and the one sixth. So that's something that I've kind of already explained to my friend Sam. Uh, if anyone else watching this video kind of wants to know about that, just let me know and I can tell you or I can direct you to a video where you have like a much more detailed explanation of that. <laughs> First off, definite thing you're going to need. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. This will help if you get like any dirt or smudges or just anything on your doll that needs to be cleaned off. That's a good thing to have. Uh, another thing, no oily anything on your doll. Good idea to wash your hands before touching it, especially if you have like super oily skin like I do. Okay, so another thing that you're probably going to need, toothbrush. Nice soft bristle toothbrush is a great thing to have. This is for maintenance on your wigs, you know, brush the hair, stuff like that. Let's move on to, into face-up stuff. Okay, first thing you're going to need, this is a Winsor & Newton brush cleaner and restorer. This is a four ounce bottle and it's kind of teeny tiny. I've already used about three fourths of it, so it's almost gone. But this is for removing any stains or just taking off face-ups in general. Uh, cotton balls and cotton swabs are definitely going to be needed. One thing that you're probably going to want to get and be very careful about this is an X-Acto knife and that's to clean up in the nose and the cracks of the mouth and if the ears and stuff like that to get crud out and some of them have like creases above their eyes and that helps you clean that out if you're having any trouble. Um, this stuff is really really strong so you don't need too much of it if you have any trouble using it to get some stuff off. Just let it kind of sit on your doll head for a couple seconds, maybe like 30 seconds, and then you can start scrubbing away and it will get it all off. Next important thing that you're going to need. And for this, you do need to get yourself like a respirator or a gas mask or something like that because this is extremely toxic. Make sure you use it in a well-ventilated area so all of it's just going to like go outside or something. I don't know, go to a place where like there's a big window that you can sit there and kind of spray it. Um... Avoid humidity, and if you go outside to use this, make sure it's not windy because you don't want it to like blow in your face or something. <laughs> this, even with a uh, gas mask, there's probably still going to be some risk involved. I mean, I don't have one. I really need to get one. I have uh, just a mask that I put over my face, <laughs> and I've been doing this outside, and so far I've had no problems, but I've hardly been using it all, and I need to get myself a respirator as well, so... That's one thing I need to work on. <laughs> this is Mr. Super Clear, and this usually you're probably gonna have to order it from Amazon or eBay or something. We don't have this here in our country. So <laughs> there is the matte kind, which is what I have, but you're probably going to want flat. Flat is better, but this is all I was able to find, so I went with it. Um, there's stuff that people put on the mouth that's shiny and stuff. It makes it all blurry and sparkly, and that's gloss varnish. But, um, oh yeah, one more thing. This is actually supposed to be for protecting your doll, so you spray it over a couple times before you actually add the face up on. And note, this takes quite a while to dry, so make sure your head is thoroughly cleaned before you spray it. Um, put only light pressure on the nozzle and make sure you shake it really good before you use it. And kind of do a sweeping motion back and forth and then turn your head while you're working on it or whatever doll part you're working with. You don't want to press too hard with it and you don't want to put it too close to the object. You kind of want to have some distance with that. Otherwise you're going to have like a pool of Mr. Super Clear in one spot and it's 
not going to be even. You want a good even coat and you want at least three coats to protect your doll before you start on the face up or body blushing or whatever it is you want to do. And you want to make sure that's good and dry. Suggestion, just let it sit there for maybe an hour or two. Because even after it looks like it's dry, it can still be sticky and tacky. And if you touch it or mess with it, you can scrape it off. And then it's all messed up and you have to start all over by taking it all off. Um, supplies that you're probably going to need. Other than that, you're going to need some acrylic paint thinner. Um, Flow Aid from Liquitex is the best to use. I don't have any right now, so I need to go get some more of that. I'm actually completely out. Uh, if you want to go and get some decent stuff, excuse me, probably see my boob. <laughs> this is from the cake decorating aisle. When you use your Flow Aid, you are going to have to mix it with parts of water. So it's good to have one of these and you can just put the water and the flow aid in there and it helps you control the amount that you use. You're gonna want some palettes if you're going to go the route of using any acrylics. Um, some really fine, fine pointed brushes. There are some places where you can get them. Uh, there's model brushes for like doing cars and airplanes and crap like that. Then there's the brushes themselves. Uh, these are all synthetic hair. None of these are hog hair. Never, ever, ever use hog hair. You can scratch your doll. That's a bad idea. <laughs> but there's some good ideas. I've got fan brushes. I've got round tip brushes. I've got fine point ones. And these are great for like blushing and stuff. Um, before you seal anything, make sure there's no little synthetic hairs loose on your doll face or anything like that. It's always good to check that. Uh, best brushes for like eyebrows and stuff are the angled brushes. And I've got one that's like super teeny tiny. And this here is an interesting little thing. It's called a multi bin. So this is a great item to have to help you display all of your brushes. It helps you keep everything organized. Um, when you're using this gloss varnish on your dolls with those brushes, once you're done, make sure you wash all the gloss varnish off of that brush or you can ruin it. That's one thing you always need to check out and make <laughs> sure you just keep those nice and clean. Uh, for blushing and all that sort of stuff, and this is what you're gonna need some sort of chalk pastel. This is what I have. It's just something small for me to start with because I'm new to face-ups myself. But um, these are chalk pastels. They are soft. No oil-based anything, like I said. No oil pastels. Ever. <laughs> and these are actually horrible to use for face-ups, which I found out a little bit too late. So these are Prismacolor watercolor pencils. Um, I suggest using Derwent. They have a lot more color selection, and not only that, they're supposed to be a whole lot softer and easier to work with. So that's another thing you need to look into. Um, there's also a really interesting video that I saw that actually should probably help with the eyebrow situation because I have problems with that myself. So I'll have to link that somewhere around here, whatever. <coughs> so that is completely it for face-up stuff, and you know what, there's one thing that I think that you need to know about. I've even been using these. These help you kind of keep you from making a mess out of your doll, but um, they are a pain in the butt. These are just latex gloves. They're not really a problem, but cotton gloves, better. Much, much, much better. <laughs> Alright, that's it.